everybody and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all keeping well and welcome back to episode three of my Gibraltar Villa save here on Football Manager Mobile 2017. As you can see, one hour, 57 minutes and 26 seconds of run to the game and I am getting the hang of this now. So you guys have come back to see how we're getting on. I've said, I mentioned it in the last episode that I'm going to be playing it month by month. I think that's probably the best kind of way to kind of go ahead of this. Unless maybe some interesting fixtures like rear their heads. I think if we just go month by month, that probably just gives you, you know, a little bit more speed in the save. So, you know, we're doing five or six episodes off camera. And then we can obviously just go back and just really review them, them games that I kind of played off camera. So as you can see though, um, we played the St Albans game, the last one, and um, we then went to Hemel Hempstead away. We got a 1-1 draw. Um, wasn't the best start from us in a very dominating match really. And um, we conceded the goal, Johnny McNamara, I believe was scoring a goal for them in the 40th minute. Uh, we then obviously struck back in the 70th minute with a goal from the keepers. But really it's a game we should have won. It's a game we should have won. 19 shots, just not really good enough on the day. 2-0 victory then at East Thurrock. And Mr. Stirky, Stirky, is it? Is that correct? Uh, getting the first goal for us. Obviously, a red card for Sam Higgins in the 53rd minute. Obviously, made it a lot easier for us. A lovely free kick from him, uh, just slotting the ball home. And then it was Tom FM grabbing a goal in the 85th minute. Another belter from him as well. And then another three points in the bag. Another three points, well, this time away at East Borough. Uh, an own goal this time, uh, coming uh, in resulting, I believe it was a corner that we actually scored this one from. An own goal, I thought it was us, but it was actually an own goal. And then it was uh, the main man as well, Zimianski, scoring in the 81st minute to get all three points in the bag for us. We then took another victory, this time at home. Uh, Tom FM, a blinding start from us this time, a cross in from the wing from keepers and Tom FM just getting onto the end of it inside the first minute. It was then Shawnee Campbell uh, scoring goal again in the 81st minute. It seems to be a time we like to score for his first goal of the season and um, grabbing all three points from that game. Then our most convincing match of the episode so far, a 3-0 victory against Hampton and Richmond. The first goal resulting from a corner as well, lovely well worked ball into the box, HDR controlling, turning and absolutely banging one into the top corner. First goal of the uh, season for him. Second goal came from pretty much another set piece I suppose you could say, Northman into keepers from the throw in, uh, kind of played off Carter, back to Tom FM and another banger from him, 2-0 to Gibraltar Villa. The third goal was a a ball from the back, played from the goalkeeper onto keepers, played a lovely ball through to Carter and he provided the finish. 3-0 and three points to Gibraltar Villa. Overall, I'm pretty happy with all the results. So, um, you know, it's it's a decent run of form we're hitting at the moment. So hopefully we can kind of take that in to the live comp here against Chelmsford. Guys, I've got a few issues. Um, Gibraltar are playing, a lot of the team's been called up to the squad and this is the only players I've got to play the team. So it's just two strikers. I'm going to have to sign some of these great out players. Um, which is a bit of a pain in the arse because they're not Gibraltarian, they're, they're English, but I don't know what else I can do. Um, I've yeah, I've physically got only nine players I can name, so I don't, I don't even know. Okay, let's run through this lineup. Uh, slightly rotated team this time, obviously only limited players, but we've got the ever-present uh, Negrescu in goal. We've got a back four of. Daza FM on that left-hand side. We've got flash players on the right. We've got a defensive partnership in the middle of Luke Hastel and David Ginsburg. We've got Jonathan Age still out on that right-hand side. We've got to have to play myself out on the left-hand side. We've got Mr. Stierke playing in the midfield central role. Hayden as an attacking midfielder. And then we've got the two Englishmen, Pepper and Truman, up top. Their team is, well, you can pause it if you really wish to see it. Okay, here we go. Uh, full live come again. No editing at all, guys, this time around. Just going to play another full live come. Um, Purely because I'm actually recording this one, not long after I've recorded that first one, so I don't know what the comments are like at the moment, but I'll be sure to take them on board for the next episode. Hopefully we can kind of get a result. I know it's a very heavily rotated side this time round, but you know, I still think we've got enough in the bag. We've conceded a fucking goal. Oh my word. Ah, God, Robbie Wilmot, well, it's about three minutes in that was, but we, oh shit man, 23 minutes already gone and just nothing at all happening. Um, but as I was saying, I still think we've got enough in the bag to kind of get this job done now and kind of see this one through Jeffers once more. Uh, just over the bar this time, <laughs> oh God. Um, come on boys, we've, no, we've, I've got faith, I've got the faith in you. Gotta have faith. Come on, boys, that's it. We're going to go in a half time, you ain't a fucking bollocking if this doesn't turn around. This is all them as well. It's all them. A brilliant save there from the Gretzky. 
Corner now. Come on, defend once more. Defended with ease. Once fair, the ball actually just went out of play. It looks like we're going to go in half time, potentially 1 uh, 0 down, but we've got an opportunity now. Age. Oh no, it's fucked up. He's fu oh no, we've got a free kick. Got a free kick. Two minutes out on time. Come on, boys. Let's get in at the break on even. We don't deserve. We don't deserve this, but if we can get there, that'd be awful. Age. Oh, save from the keeper. We've got a corner. Come on. Come on. We've got this. We've not been too bad from set pieces, but obviously, nothing came from it. Half time. That was pretty fast paced. Uh, Chelmsford 1, Gibraltar Villa 0. We've been under the cosh a little bit. We have been under the cosh, not going to deny that at all. Um, I've got no real options. I've got a lot of English lads, young English, not very good lads on the bench either, so there's not really much I can change up here. Um, let's just see if we can possibly see if we can change these roles around. They're both target men. Whatever, we're just going to try and work to our strengths now, maybe. Um, oh my god. This is. I mean, this formation's been doing, you know, it's been working for me. So we've just changed the roles of the strikers. Hopefully, potentially, we can kind of get a little bit more from them up front now. Got to try and nick a point from this. If we can get a point, I'll be happy. I would definitely be happy um, to just get, get away from this match now and get this kind of done and dusted. 1,170 of you at today's match. So thank you for anyone who's attended today's live match. Do appreciate that. Hayden now with a free kick. Oh, that's poor. Oops, that's poor. That was Luke. Um, if you are enjoying the series, guys, don't forget to uh, show your support by dropping a like and all that kind of good stuff. Spread it, spread the word around. Oh no, Dixon. Oh no, luckily it came to nothing. Come on, we need a massive improvement from that dire first half performance. It says we've had four shots now, uh, none on target though, so that's slightly concerning. Truman now into Hayden. Hayden's Pepper. Truman. Oh, not bad. At least we're getting something on on target. At least we're kind of you know causing a little bit of of um, I wasn't on target, sorry, but at least we're getting something in and around. The, the keeper now, so he knows at least with it. Hey, Jonathan Age with a banger! Yes, that's what I'm talking about. First goal of the season, and what a time for Jonathan Age to get his first goal season. Just when we needed a player to come big, Jonathan Age grabs goal. 72 minutes in, it's Gibraltar Villa 1, Charlesford 1. They're bringing on the changes now, which means I'm potentially going to look at bringing my changes on as well. I'm going to, this is not something I'd normally do, but I think I'm going to drop a player back now uh, in that more defensive midfield role and just look to kind of secure the points out. I mean, I know I can play there, but Sticky can't play out on that side. Can he play where Hayden can play? Yes, but Hayden can't play out wide. No, eight, no, that's even worse. I think we're going to have to rock with me on the left hand side. Sticky playing in that um, defensive midfield role and me just playing outside the left. That's the best option we've got. We really need to just secure this point now. There's no point in me trying to bring on any of the players because they've got nothing. Better on the bench at all. They're all pretty poor. Yeah, I'm going to be perfectly honest. We've got Dazzler FN now into myself, Mike on the left hand side. Plays the ball into Truman. And it's a goal kick to Chelmsford. If we can just hold on this now, if we could make a point, uh, three points, that would be awesome. But realistically, we do not want to drop the point we've got. We really need to secure this now. But Jonathan Age with the ball into Hayden. Pepper. Oh, got a corner now. We're actually kind of, you know, I've changed the formation slightly, but it does seem we've, we're, we're causing more uh, problems for the now. More opportunities. Hayden with this uh, corner now on the left hand side. It is actually dealt with, but it's only come as far as Hayden. Oh, I thought it was going to be a penalty. No, 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 no. Get back, boys. Get back. Lovely. Flash plays there, absolute legend, saving us potentially um, two points there. That was a two-point saving tackle. Jonathan Ajay with the ball down the right-hand side. It's playing to the middle, but it's gone out for a corner. I've got an opportunity. Come on, if we can nick this now. Oh, I thought that was going to be three points there. But as I mentioned, the one point will do. The one point is kind of what we was kind of looking to get from this game in a very heavily rotated side. And with no options on the bench, the full team is going to have to play 90 minutes. And to be fair, they're not the second. The first half was 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 poor, but Ginsburg now into Sticky, Sticky back to Ginsburg. Tried to laugh for the ball over to Age. Flash plays into Age. No, it's been uh, dealt with though. Come on, no, no, do not, do not. Ball's just whipped across, but it's gone straight through for a throw. And this should be it now. Come on, ref, blow your fucking whistle, mate. Blow your whistle. There we go. It's all over. We did manage to get a point. That was that was pretty intense. I'm not going to lie. Um. I do think that our second half performance um, did warrant us getting that point from there and potentially we could have gone on to three points and it probably wouldn't have been too against of a play. As you can see, Jonathan Age getting the, the man of the match performance there for him. One goal, uh, nine rating all round. Uh, I didn't play too well. I was captain. That's pretty strange. Why was I the captain for? I did not put myself a captain. Um, I didn't think I was even on the list. But as you can see though, that second half performance, the first half was bad, but 12 shots, three of those only on target though, two clear cut chances, just not really as clinical in front of goal with them two kind of English strikers who are just nowhere near the level of what we, the normal strike force we've got are. But you know, that's still a point. They were third, we're second, we're still sitting in second there. Seven games played, 5-1, 2, and no losses yet. No losses. Um, 
13 goals and only three goals conceded. That's a pretty strong um, run. I think Ebsley are, are, are going to be uh, really hard to beat and stop this season. But Tom FM there on the top goal scores four goals, which is really, really pleasing. I didn't mean to click on Oxford City. It's just trying to scroll down. My fat thumb, just finger thumb, whatever it is, got in the way. Uh, let's have a quick look at average ratings there. Stav Kobe, Tom FM and Brian Carter all getting there. All, all averaging eight. I mean, I don't think Stav's played as many games, but the, the other two have played a good amount of games for us. Assist-wise, we're not there at the moment. Let's have a quick look if we've got anyone. We've got Brian Carter there. Um, let's have a quick look at player of the match. Got Brian Carter, Tom FM, and uh, Zamirski as well. Very similar names kind of cropping up around here. So, kind of some really key players that we've got so far. Let's look at see Yes, there he is. The boy, the rescue, the legend of the team. Kirkland, they're sharing duties at the moment, so that's not fair. There's three goalkeepers sharing duties. So, really, he's top. He's, he is first, if you kind of take that into consideration. Uh, but they, that pretty much wraps up for today's episode, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, we're going to obviously play these games off camera. I'll be back for the next Oxford City game. We're going to play them September games off camera now. Got Welling, Whitehawk, Ebbsfleet, which is going to be a tough match, to be fair. Would have probably liked to have um, live on that one, but I'm not going to do I'm not going to break tradition. I'm, I've already said what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick to it and see this, this uh, career out. Just have a quick look at the transfers, though, as obviously the transfer window wasn't closed. Um, Atletico Madrid making a few more transfers. Um, they bought in... Uh, Brozic, Brozic, Anderson, and then Real Madrid also spending £41 million pounds on uh, a player's name who I'm not going to try and pronounce. Um, Liverpool spending a bit of money as well. So, yeah, still no massive sign-ins, though. Teddy Bishop, one of my favourite players, going to uh, Derby. Um, but yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for today's episode. Obviously, join me next time round when we're playing against Oxford City. If you have enjoyed this one, don't forget to show your support by dropping a like on the video. I have been Just Mike Plays, and I'll speak to you legends soon. Da -da 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 -da. It's the one and only Deco Double G. Smart.